Dun 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 dun. They're all dead. I really am quite curious. Fortune shines of what's upon us. Happen, though. I know that they said they had a huge cast of characters for this game, but I'm wondering if at some point. The ancient battlefields to the right. It looks completely empty out there. The Empire was using it as a military camp not too long ago. It'd be nice if we had time to check it out. But we'd better keep straight for our Morica. Huh? He says I as... Got a funny feeling. Now's our chance. He says as I go patrolling towards it. Careful. Now I go, I go, I go, I just want the treasure chest. I don't want nothing to do with you. This should be of good use to us. You're not cute. No, 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 go away. Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, good, he went away. But uh, as I was saying, I was, I am, oh my God. Oh, that was close. No! Let's get out of here. I don't feel like Later dealing with game. you right now. I'll deal with you some other time, but right now is not one of them. Uh, I. There. Oops, I didn't mean to. Of course. That. I mean, I guess I can see the resemblance. But I don't know. I mean, I guess I see it. Why not? Okay, so there's really no point in coming back here. Leave me alone! I don't want no part of this! I told you, I will deal with you at another time, but that is not right now. I just... Don't push your luck. That enemy's no joke. All threats will be eliminated. I am surprised it actually worked. Behold my dance, an illusory it offering is an to departing souls. Damn funny though. Damn dragon. Embraced by silver light. Fight! Why not? I mean, you're close. Let's use okay. it. Okay, playtime is over. <laughs> My turn. All right. Let's try this. Keep it up. Fools for million. Right. Hmm. That's a oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Good to go. Of course. Yes. Now. Let's go, Lloyd. All taken care of. But yeah, I'm wondering how big the cast is for that this game. That treasure chest doesn't appear to have been opened yet. And I'm wondering if, from all three routes, we somehow, at some point, all come together like some big happy family. Now, I would think that might be a bit much. But okay. I also I have also learned not to put anything past this game. So that would be pretty cool, and I'm looking forward to seeing how this all basically comes together. Another one over there. Hey, it's the gun girl. This isn't looking good. It's the healer. Uh, Quick saber! What are we going to do? Don't worry, Pulley. I won't let them hurt you. I'll distract them. I want you all to run for the village, okay? Why are you guys outside of the village? Whoa. What do we do, Camille? Shoot. No one hurts my sister while I'm around. There's too many of them. 
the right things are going. Ellie! Cool transition with the sound. Lloyd! Sorry it took us so long. Mind covering our six? We won't let them harm the children. Let's get started. Keep First, we'll start Top with kit shield. number one. Pop and up. Then I'll start with this. All right. Keep things up. Right. And then, oh, I can't pull you all in together, huh? Hmm. I don't want to do this. You know what? Fuck it. I was gonna try and be conservative, but I don't feel like it anymore. Okay. Playtime is over. <laughs> okay. Later. It's my turn. It is. Of course. Now that we've it's even the playing field. Of course. Yeah. Leave it to me. Good to go. Sure. Sorry, you just picked the wrong fight. Ah. Nice. I did it. I need to That's keep at how it. we do it. Yes, I'm moving up. So I wonder, does that? that Letcher's actually going to be a playable character for the rest of the game, or is he just, like, for the here and now? <sighs> I'm hoping it's for the rest of the game. I love this man. I love him almost as much as I love Crow. <laughs> that takes care of that. I don't know what it is. He's just an awesome character to me. You're all unharmed, right? Good job hanging tough for so long, Ellie. I'm glad to see you're all right. You show up out of nowhere at the perfect time, and that's all you have to say to me? I mean, is there more he's supposed to say? I was so worried, and I thought I may never see you again. You're not still hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Sorry that I worried you. Just be careful of where you're grabbing, lady. That is where his wound is. I'm so oh happy to God. see you again, Ellie. Yep. I ship it. I ship it. Wait. I... I ship it. <laughs> I totally ship it. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, God, I love it. If there are children watching, you know? Don't go corrupting them, officers. Well, they gotta learn about the bees and, you know, all that shit at some point. We were doing nothing of the sort. Don't make it sound like that. Wait, what are you even doing here in the first place? It's kind of a long story. Are y'all alright? No. Thank goodness. I was so worried something might have happened. Oof, don't scare me like that. Hold up. Aren't y'all? Boy, Risha. Oh, Cecile. Well, there's another member of Thor's. Fuck, they're everywhere, man. Oh, that's a pretty field. Lecter tipped us off that an SSS member was in Armorica. But I never expected to run into you too, Cecile. I guess it is, Lecter. I'm so glad you're all right. It's so good to see you're okay too, Lloyd. I'm sure you must have gone through a lot to get here. I didn't know what to think after the injuries you sustained at the ceremony. Yeah, I guess he's just as wacko as Reen. Yeah, but I'm doing better now, thanks to Risha. I wouldn't have made it here without her, or Lecter for that matter. I wasn't expecting to get a shout out. You know you don't have to you don't owe me anything. 
But it was your information that led us here to Armonica Village in the first place. It's good to see that so many people from the city were able to escape to here. Yes, it wouldn't have been possible had the CPD and the CGF not drawn the enemy's attention. Then again... It's Kia, isn't it? You don't know where she is either. Oh no... Unfortunately, we were separated from her during all of the confusion in the city. I'm so sorry, Lloyd. I was standing right next to her at the time, so it was my responsibility. I shouldn't have let this happen. But please, Cecile, you don't have to blame yourself. It's not your fault. If anything, I should have... Am I the only one who's now saying that there seems to be a theme in terms of Lloyd's kind of woman here? We're all worried about Kia, but we have need to have faith in her. I'm sure she is okay, and I know we'll find her eventually and bring her home safely. There's not a doubt in my mind. Lloyd's right. Let's take solace in how many people were able to escape from the city. If they're okay, then I'm sure Kia is too. I can't begin to describe how it feels to know... Shan Shan? I don't even know. Speaker McDowell are okay. I was especially worried about... Oh, God. I'm just gonna say Shan Shan this whole time. Yeah. Think of it this way. We're off to a good start already, knowing that some of our friends and family are alright. Though I don't want to make light of the injury Speaker McDowell suffered. Sounds like he took a stray bullet to the shoulder. He gonna be okay? The doctor said he should be fine, fortunately. But the bullet... But the bullet passed straight through. So it didn't cause much diff damage? Why the fuck am I having so much problem talking? But given his age, he's going to need plenty of rest at the clinic for right now. That's probably for the best. I wouldn't want him pushing himself too hard for our sakes. That's right. Your grandfather will be okay. At least so as long as he takes time to recover. He's in good hands with Dr. Littman. And try not to worry too much about where Kia is, alright? I'll try. Well, I'm gonna go back to help at the clinic. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Cecile. We will. <sighs> My apologies. I know there's no sense in being gloomy right now. The children left the village because they wanted to find a way to cheer me up. And you saw how that almost turned out. You shouldn't blame yourself for that either, Ellie. I'm sure they wanted to help the entire village and not just you. But... Hate to change the subject, but I think I'm gonna go do my own thing for a while. Now that we've made it to the village. Yes, we could all use some downtime. I'd like to go catch up with Shan Shan and see how she's doing. She's at the inn, isn't she? Yes. And that's where the other refugees from the city are staying as well. She's been worried about you, too, so I'm sure I'll be happy to sit, spend some time with you. That sounds like her. I'll go do that, then. I'm gonna go check in on the speaker and see if the folks in the clinic need a hand. Give me a holler once you two are done with your heart-to-heart -heart you're about to have. <laughs> oh, dear heavens. What was that? I guess that was their way of leaving this in my hands. Hey, Ellie. Could I interest you in a little walk around the village together? I want to get a better idea of how the villagers are holding up. I suppose we could do that. Armonica may have been our base of operations for a while, so we should go say hi to Chief Tolta as well. Good thinking. Let's go then. Yeah. So I've never been here. Again, these are from probably a past game, so I don't know anything. Hmm, but the village is pretty though. Hey, Rex!
it's good to know that you're all right, because I know that a pair of girl twins were worried about whether or not you'd be safe. <laughs> Crazy as times are, this place always manages to put my mind at ease. I know what you mean. Especially so, now that I know you're safe. Why don't we take a look around? I was gonna say, are you two done talking? <laughs> I don't know what is and what is not important to upgrade, to be honest. I feel at the end, I sh it doesn't matter because they're all very important. And the reason why you need to upgrade those is because you can get higher quartz. And I'd much rather focus on those than outfitting myself with quartz that I'm going to only use temporarily. And if I can't get the high quartz, like, now, then sure, I'll fuck with it then. But it's always good to have them already pre-upgraded, just to be, you know, safe. Hello, you must be the dude that they were talking about. Well, look what the cat dragged in. The young fault of the village has been keeping me up to date. That includes, of course, everything that happened in the city. You folks have had it rough. We're sorry for worrying, Chief. Tolta? Is it Tolta? I'm gonna assume it is. I owe you so much for taking in my grandfather and the refugees. As the secretary, please allow me to express my deepest gratitude. Come now, lass. Now more than ever, we've got to extend a helping hand in times of need. It was the speaker who fought for us when those goons were trying to set up the convalescent home and military camp. Not to mention all the times the SSS has helped us in the past. <laughs> we were only doing our job, sir. Ah, spare me the humility. We've been in your debt ever since. Not once have you abandoned the weak. Nope, you fought for us all. Yep, sounds like Reen. That means a lot to me. You okay, Ellie? If you ever need a hand with something, anything at all, you just let us know and we'll come running. We may be a rinky-dink little farm village, but we've got our, your backs all the same. <laughs> and we couldn't ask for better allies. Thank you so much. There are so many people supporting us. We really can't afford to let them down. I just know we're going to take Crossbell back and find Kia. Yes, I hope so. So, would you mind me asking what happened after the ceremony, Ellie? You haven't been yourself ever since we ran into you outside the village. I don't deserve to have the villagers speaking so kindly about me. Not after I turned my back on Kia. What? Please forgive me, Lloyd. Oh no, what did you do? It's not Cecile's fault that Kia isn't here. Not at all. It's entirely mine for abandoning her. The fuck do you mean? Unless you're saying like you somehow like turned her in, which I just don't see that being the case. Oh, there you are Kia? I've been looking for you. Yeah, Cecile should be somewhere nearby too. Is 
Floyd? He'll be fine. Risha's with him. Now come over. <laughs> Run, or you'll get caught up in it. Jesus Christ. You know, when they said shit would hit the fan, they quite literally meant I'm it, didn't so they? I'm so sorry. Is this all my fault? Ellie, nothing about what I just saw and at all says that that was your fault. I could have ran to her voice and grabbed her hand, and I chose not to. I don't deserve to call myself her guardian or even be a part of the SSS. Ellie, for the love of all that is holy, did you see the carnage that was happening all around you? I think, I think you could be forgiven for that. So that's what happened. Rufus, you better run because you, it sounds to me like you are just gradually pissing off more it's and more people. It's going to be all people. right, Ellie. And I hate to say this, but that don't bode well for you. Key is just fine. I'm sure of it. Not to mention, poor Eusis, that poor kid, he just can't get a break. How can you be so sure? Because it's Kia. We've done nothing but force hardship on her ever since we returned from the Azure Tree. While we fought for our home's freedom, she stood by us and helped however she could despite being separated from her best friend. And never once did she not have a smile on her face. No matter how hopeless things felt, Kian never stopped smiling for us. We were the ones who swore to protect her. And there she was again, being the one who protected and supported us. You're right. She always has. We were only able to continue smiling ourselves because her smile was giving us hope. I think that's exactly what she was trying to do the day we were separated, too. I'll be fine. We'll see each other again soon. I promise. There are other people who need you. I couldn't see her face, but I could feel how desperate she was to encourage me. Even though she must have been so scared, how can one little girl be so positive? I'd like to say that's how she's always been. But we both know she's even stronger now than she was before. Kia isn't the same girl she was when we first met. She's no longer powerless to fight against a terrible fate that was decided without her consent. She's one of us now, in every sense of the word. Always with us, always fighting, and smiling. In just two years, she's grown and become the Kia Bannings we all know and love. That's why, if she says she'll be all right, and that we'll see each other again, then I know we can believe her. So there's only one thing left for us to do, right? Yes, you're right again. And I think deep down, Part of me still thought of her as a helpless child that needs us to look after her. I should have known better. Should have seen that as we were getting stronger, she was right there with us getting stronger too. Well, I'm hardly in any position to judge when it comes to being overprotective of Kia. But the thing is, she put her trust in us. So it's only right we do Kia the same isn't thing from she asks. You're on fire, huh? Right again. She is from Crossbell. There's so much for us to do right now. The only way we're going to manage is by taking it one step at a time. Kia told me she would be okay, and that there are other people who need me. I'm going to place my faith in that. Kia, 
Ellie and Lloyd and the SSS as a whole, including Crossbell, are from a completely different part of the game universe, so to speak. Their stories aren't at all connected to Reen's as much as... Uh, how do I put... I don't know how to put this. Their whole story with Kia is a completely different game. The same thing could be said about a few other characters. Um, I'm sure we'll meet them down the line, I'm sure. As Reen and his group had their own games. So they're completely different from Reen and his friends. And Kia, from what I've read, is more than just a little girl. So I'm sure we'll be reunited as long as we stay the course. That's the spirit. It's only a matter of time before our paths cross again. So we don't want to disappoint her when we meet up. I don't know anything about them, so I can't really quite say much on who these characters are versus Reen in Class 7. I'd say we owe it to her as her guardians and as her friends. This is so like you, Lloyd. Always encouraging me when I need it most. It's been this way for a long time, hasn't it? That night on the roof when I thought of leaving the SSS, even when I decided to become grandfather's secretary during the occupation, Sometimes, I wonder if the only reason I've been able to keep going these last few years is because I knew you were with me. Words can't express how grateful I truly am. I'm flattered, but I don't think I did anything particularly special. I've known for a long time that your future was going to lead you to politics. And I know you'll make Crossbell and the world a better place. So I'm happy to do whatever I can to give you a push in the right direction if you need it. Is that the only reason? I hope the reason you look after me so much isn't just for the good of Crossbell. I thought it would sound cooler if I put it that way. But you got me. I think my feelings are a little more straightforward than that. I want to do what I can to help you realize your dreams because... You're Ellie. You're important to me. So, what I'm getting out of this is that Ellie and Lloyd are kind of a pairing. Again, I don't know how true that is because I've never played these games. But it sounds to me like these two are kind of like an item. That's the real reason. <laughs> Thanks. I know I forced that out of you, so forgive me for being a little selfish. I think that's just what I needed to hear to begin looking forward again. You always make me feel like nothing is impossible, not even getting our home back. They very well could. I I could I really can't say because much on that. Nothing ever is. And I'll be right here to tell you as many times as it takes. I don't feel much for these characters as much as I do for Reen and his group. So, I really cannot comment on anything that's actually happening. And I'm not saying that th this set of characters are bad. It's just, like I said, I don't know them. And yes, I could read the little storybook they have at the title screen. But what good is that? Versus either watching someone else play it or playing it myself. 